New from KTAL Records, 22 explosive hits. What? Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie, broadcasting from an undisclosed location in Orange County, California. I still don't have my CDs unboxed, so I'm going to do this video without CDs. But essentially, I'm going to talk for a few minutes, and then for the last five minutes of this video, you will be able to uh, listen to a five-minute medley uh, by a band called the Rubenews. And in this video, I want to tell you why the Rubenews matter. But first off, let me tell you a little bit, you know, sort of where I'm coming from. Now, there are two things to remember about me when it comes to music. Number one, I'm a pop kid. And I always refer to myself as a pop kid. And that basically means that I love hooks and harmonies and great pop songs, you know, Beatles, Monkeys, Neil Diamond, Glenn Campbell. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it's got a hook, man, I am just roped in, dragged in, and I am not kicking and screaming. I'll tell you, as long as there's a hook, I'm I'm fine with that. Number two, I'm an emotional listener. And you know that basically means that the music can affect my emotions or my emotions can affect the way that I process music. So generally speaking, I love things that uh, uh, are just easily embraceable and lovable and huggable, but I also love things with grit and, and with power. And there you're going to find a band called the Rubenews. And now I'm gonna tell you why the Rubenews matter. Now the Rubenews is John Rubin, Tommy Dunbar, Don Spent and Al Chan. Now Al Chan's the new kid in the band. He's been in the band for 42 years. But yeah, this band's been around for, gosh, a little over 50 years now. The best way to describe the Rubenews is you know, imagine, you know, a sunny day with the Archies um, writing songs that are just as masterful as Lennon and McCartney and bringing these glorious harmonies and being influenced by so much music. Now, a lot of people call them power pop. Now, power pop to me is is the Rubenus. Rubenus do fall into that category. Uh, but, you know, you've got 2020, The Beat, Shoes, all the great bands, the bands that I love and the bands that probably a lot of you power poppers love. But the Rubenus is something else entirely different while also sort of sticking with that same power pop aesthetic. You can hear so much influence in their music. You know, they they were raised on rock and roll records. You know, 45s, uh, Soul 45s, uh, Beatles, Who, all these bands. And what they did is they took those influences and created this sound that some may think of as lightweight, but it, no, it's just rich on melody and harmonies. I mean, that's really, it's the art of the song. These guys have captured the art of the song. And when I say the art of the song, I'm referring to songwriters going back to Hoagy Carmichael and up through Lennon and McCartney and even Holland Dozier Holland. Uh, the Rubenus take all of this and, and sort of crunch it into a sound that is just straightforward pop. You can call it bubblegum. You can call it rock and roll. You can call it power pop. The thing is, is they, they take all these influences and Tommy Dunbar, uh, guitar player and, and essentially co-lead vocalist, because John Rubin, my gosh, he's been, he, he, he had an angelic voice when the Rubin News started. Today, he's even better. There's more maturity in his voice, but he can still hit those wonderful notes. And, and you know, you're going to hear it in the medley. You're going to hear these voices just melding together, melting together. And they create music for the sheer joy of it. They've been on the fringes of the charts. You know, their first single actually was a cover of I Think We're Alone Now by Tommy James and the Shondells. I actually prefer the Rubenews version more than the Tommy James version. Now, I initially really kind of just, oh, Rubenews, they're doing a cover version? Oh, whatever, right? But then I started hearing original Rubenews material. I said, whoa, hello, hello, this is even better then I think we're alone now. And that's the thing that I discovered is they do cover versions, but their own songs are actually better than the covers that they do, which is really a hard thing to do since they're pulling from the classics. So how would I describe the Rubenews? I would say the Archies and the Monkees meets uh, the Beatles and the Who and throw them all together with that, like I said, the angelic voice of John Rubin and the harmonies. These guys are rich in harmonies. These guys are rich in hooks. Tommy Dunbar writes or co-writes almost all the material and still to this day 
coming up with great hooks. You'd think he would run out like so many other artists, you know, who maybe came out strong and then sort of eh, got, eh, you know, a little over time. But no, they just keep putting out magic. I mean, but the reason I'm talking about it and, and the reason that they matter is because there's that joy in them creating the music. Um, and and it you, you can hear it. You can see it on stage. They have such a chemistry. There's such a chemistry between these guys. And uh, uh, and their interplay on stage, their interplay on records, is just truly outstanding, incredible, amazing. And now here's really why they matter: is is the fact that the joy that they create uh, uh, with each other, this joyous, wonderful, melodic music, it actually projects itself onto the listener. This is music created out of joy to bring joy to people. And I know that that, that sounds silly and hokey, you know, and don't hold it against them. But man, when you put on a Rubenus record, you don't hear anything but just this pure love of music. If you're looking for something just pure and melodic and glorious, and that's going to remind you of you know your first love, it's gonna remind you of your first kiss, it's gonna remind you of so many wonderful things in your life, that is what the Rubenus music brings in audio form. It's like it, it, it's literally audio love. It's audio romance. It's something really special and spectacular. Now, I'm not going to list their albums. I mean, uh, you know, you can go to Wikipedia or something, but I am going to present to you a five minute medley that features excerpts from 21 Rubenus songs, and every hook is more delicious than the last one. And after I'm done playing this, I hope it inspires you to maybe check out the Rubenus. You can find some of their releases on vinyl. Some of them are only on CD. So without any further ado, here's the Rubenus, and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
Well, that's it. Thanks for sitting there and watching this video. It's great to be back making videos for you. I appreciate all of you. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.